To create the connector piece, I'm going to ignore these little tabs in here. I'll kind of build it solid first, then cut out where they go, and come back and build the tabs. That's the last piece. So the back part of it is wider than the top part. We'll build that back portion first, and then add on to it. Starting a sketch, I'm going to use the front plane. And these are not the actual measurements, so I'm just going to use some arbitrary numbers. Uh, it's probably approximately two inches, maybe a little bit less. And we'll make it 0.5 tall. It does have a fillet on the corners. So we'll try something like 0.1. And again, you'll just have to measure these to get the true measurements. And I'll finish the sketch, extrude this piece out, whatever distance it measures to. Then start another sketch on here. And I may be able to uh, project the geometry on the outside and then do an offset, bring it in, whatever that measurement of that outside difference is. Finish the sketch here and do an extrusion. Then I want to cut out where the tabs were at. So I'm going to start a sketch. I'll use a rectangle. And I need to dimension however far those tabs cut down. <clears throat> and then the distance across. And if I did an overall of 2 inches, and this is 0.5, that would leave 1.5, 1, 1 meaning that if I want it centered, I would put it at 0.75. Again, do your measurements to get your actual numbers. Then I would need to do the same thing on the bottom here. finish the sketch and I would extrude cut out these two parts all the way to do my tab I want the center between the two sides and the easiest way to get that is to use the drop down from the plane select mid plane between two planes click one side and click the other that'll give me a plane in the center I can start a sketch and then click on that work plane and I want to be able to see inside of there so I can go to the view and I'm going to use this quarter section view and change it to a half section and then select the work plane that I was working on that's going to allow me to see inside on the sketch it joins where we started here, comes up, comes out, and you're going to, again, make sure you do your measurements. And sometimes it does continuous lines and other times it doesn't. And right now it's not, so you want to make sure that your lines are showing up. If they aren't, then you'll have to go back and click and place them back in. Okay, so again, place your use your actual measurements. Finish the sketch. 
and when I extrude it I'm going to choose to do a symmetrical extrude and if it looks once you have that distance in there click OK and then we can do a on the view and our section view so that it shows up there I'm going to create a sketch on the top and I'm going to start out with a rectangle and again you'll want to put in your dimensions then I'll use an arc across here but for simplicity I just want to give you kind of the idea finish the sketch and then I'm going to extrude cut these two pieces down and that gives me kind of where the cutout is then I could use a fillet on it and get both the inside edge here and the outside edge on the top to give it a nice curve to it we want to come back and create another sketch here on this level and we'll draw our little rectangles in order to get the three bars that go across to help with gripping finish your sketch do your extrude change the direction to go down make sure that it stays on a join and tell it to next okay that fills in that piece for me to do the one on the bottom instead of having to repeat the entire thing we could use the mirror but I need a plane that runs through the middle so just like we did before we're going to use the mid plane between two planes this time we'll select the top and select the bottom to get that plane I'm going to go to the mirror tool and select my initial tab then the cutout the fillets and the three bars that I added switch to the mirror plane and choose the plane there on the bottom or that runs through the middle and click OK and that should place the tab on the other side we can hide these planes by right clicking and turning off the visibility and then on the front we've got a couple of holes in it so I'll start a sketch here do my circles and again you want to not only dimension the size of the circle but dimension their locations you would finish the sketch and either use the hole feature or the extrude um, the hole would probably give you a more accurate piece of information so I'm going to click the two centers and change it to a depth or distance and give it a flat drill point and OK there so that would cut those in and then you have a few minor things to add for example on the top here you've got a little rectangle cut out and those would appear also on this face and the two on the bottom and with just a small extrude cut and the last would be to come in and add the automa block symbol um, after that you can do your coloring
So select it, choose the in choose the entire piece, select your color. and then save your connector.